In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to turn this photograph into a vector graphic using Adobe Illustrator. So I've opened Adobe Illustrator and I'm going to start a new file. We'll just do letter for now, click create. I'm going to my finder window and I'm gonna find the photo of my cute dog. I found this photo from unsplash.com and I'm just gonna click and drag to drop it into my file. Okay, it's very big. I'm going to just reduce the size so it fits on my artboard. The best way to go from a raster photograph to a vector image in Adobe Illustrator is the image trace tool. If you select the photograph, you should see image trace at the top of the screen right here. If you don't see it here, select the photograph, go to object, image trace, and then make. So I'm going to click image trace. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna do its best to trace this image into a vector graphic. And in just a few seconds, it did just that. This is not exactly the result I was hoping for. So we're gonna go over here to the options. So it's the image trace panel. So it's up here in my top bar. And this gives me some options for my image trace. Right now, I have this set at a black and white mode. So that's why it just traced this photograph into black and white. So if you want a color version of this, you would choose color and it's going to retrace this. And now if I zoom into this, this is actually all vector graphics. You can see there's a ton of colors in this. And this little color slider is where you can adjust how many colors will show up in your vector. I like to keep my colors pretty simple. So I'm usually wanting to do between two to five to 10, somewhere in there. Let's just do five colors on the slider and let's see what the result is. That's actually pretty nice. I like the browns and I like the yellow background. There's also up top, you can see presets. There are some presets that you can choose from here. Some of these will just give you different options. Like there's a three color, six color, 16 color. You can do different shades of gray, sketched art, line art, all kinds of different tracing options here in the presets. Let's actually try one of these. Let's go to 16 colors and just see what kind of result we get. Okay, and that's giving me a more realistic look. So the last step, this is actually still not vector. It's just giving me a preview of what the vector can look like. So we need to hit the expand button. I can see it here or I can see it up here. So let's hit expand. And you can see that actually did the tracing. So now these are all vector shapes. You know, this is a pretty complicated graphic. So if I were actually using this for a project, I may want to come in here and actually adjust some of the points in my vector. If you didn't want a background, you could just select the background and delete it. There's kind of this yellow halo around. So you could come in here and select a color that maybe you didn't want and go up top and say, select, same, fill color. And it would select everything that's yellow and you could delete it. I'm just gonna undo that. And the last step would be if we're ready to export this as a true vector graphic, we would go up to file, save. And there's a few different file formats that you can save this as a vector. You can save it as an AI file, that's an Illustrator file. So that would save it as a vector Illustrator file. But more commonly an EPS or an SVG are the vector formats that are used in print and web. So one of these is probably a good option that you could export it as. So I'll save mine as an EPS, say dog vector. So that's how you vectorize a file in Adobe Illustrator going from raster to vector. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up and leave a comment below and subscribe to Cry Studio for more graphic design and Illustrator tutorials. Thanks so much.